Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at this particular question and it's in response to a comment I received on my other video and it's really worth looking at this uh, scenario. So, the question is calculate the Laurent series for this function inside the circle centered z equal 1 and radius 1. So before we do anything, we really need to draw a graph. Okay, just to give ourselves an idea of what's going on. So the first thing we need to do is locate the singularity. So there's a singularity at z equal to positive 1. So z equal to positive 1. And there's a singularity at z equal to positive 2. Now we also need to draw the region that we want to find the expansion in. So it's inside the circle centered at z equal 1 of radius 1. So it's going to touch the imaginary axis, the axes there. And go through that other singularity and come back. So we need to find the expansion inside the circle. Okay, so this is an interesting scenario and the scenario is best highlighted when the singularity, when a singularity of the uh, function, because there's two, when a singularity of f of z and the center of the circle, center of the circle coincide. Coincide. So this is the situation which is happening. The center of the circle that we're expanding in and one of the singularities are coinciding. So when this happens, it actually makes our life a little easier because we need to, for this uh, circle z equal 1, we need to expand about z minus 1. Okay, In our power series representation, we're going to have z minus 1s. And we've already got that in the function. So what we need to do is split it up. So I'm going to write it as 1 on z minus 1 all squared. That bit's already done for us. We don't have to touch that. That's already a Laurent series expansion about the point z equal to 1. Fantastic. But we do have to worry about this other term, 1 on z minus 2. So this is already done for us because the singularity and the center of the circle are coinciding. So we don't have to do anything for that. It's already the series expansion power series representation of the function. But this bit we're going to have to do something about. And the question is, do we need to find a Taylor series or a Laurent series? Since we're finding it inside the circle and the singularity is on the boundary, since we're finding it on the inside, we're going to need a Taylor series. If it was outside the circle, which we'll look at in scenario two, we're going to have to find a Laurent series expansion. So we're going to use the same technique as we've done before Except now, all I'm going to do is leave this 1 on z minus 1 squared out the front. So I'm going to have 1 on z minus 1 all squared out the front the whole time. And I need to find a Taylor series expansion for this thing. So we'll do that the normal way. I'm expanding at about z minus 1, so I have to have that in there. And I've got a minus 2, and if I subtract 1, I've got to add 1. Okay, so standard. 1 on z minus 1 all squared, that's going to be out the front the whole time, times by 1 on, I'm going to have a z minus 1. I need to have a z minus 1 because I'm expanding about the point z equal to 1, and minus 2 plus 1 becomes minus 1. That's not the way we want it though, it's not the geometric series representation just yet, so I need to manipulate it one more time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a negative out the front, so I've got negative 1, and it becomes 1 minus z minus 1 in the denominator. Now that is in the geometric series form. So z minus 1 squared and this will become the power series from n equals 0 to infinity negative 1, that's that negative 1 there, times by z minus 1 to the power of n. And I'm done. I'm just going to clean it up now, bring it all together. I'm going to have negative at the front, n equals 0 to infinity. That comes from that thing there. I've got z minus 1 to the n divided by z minus 2, so that becomes z minus 1 to the n minus 2. And where's this convergent for? And this converges for, well, we know that it's going to be mod z minus 1 is less than, well, this series, it must be 1 because that's the distance that this, the nearest singularity is from the center. So it must be 1. And the distance that this singularity is from the center is 0. 
So this converges for mod z minus 1 is less than 1, which is a circle, but it doesn't include the center of the circle. And that's the answer to the question. So if I want to calculate the Laurent series expansion for this function inside the circle center, z equal 1, take out the 1 on z minus 1 squared, and find the Taylor series for the other term, and get your final answer, which is here. Okay. In part two, however, we're finding it outside the circle. So I'll do that in another color. In part two, we're finding it outside the circle. So we need a Laurent series expansion for f of, so we're going to have f of z equal to one on z minus two, so minus one all squared. And I've still got the one on z minus two bit, but now I need a Laurent expansion because it's outside the circle of radius one centered at one. So let's do that. So it's going to be one on z minus one all squared. And this thing becomes one on, and it is the same thing, z minus one, minus two plus one, which is one on z minus one all squared, one on z minus one, minus one. Okay. I have to expand about z minus 1, so I'm going to take that out the front now. z minus 1 all squared. And this becomes 1 on z minus 1, taking it out the front. And I'm left with 1 on 1 minus 1 on z minus 1. So this is exactly what we're after, this bit. So I can take this out the front again. I'll just change color here. So I've got 1 on z minus 1 all cubed times 1 on 1 minus 1 on z minus 1, which I can now write this in geometric series form. So it's 1 on z minus 1 all cubed, n equals 0 to infinity, and I'm going to have 1 on z minus 1 to the n, and bringing this term in, n equals 0 to infinity, I've got z minus 1 to the n plus 3, so 1 on z minus 1 to the n plus 3. And this is only valid for mod z minus 1 strictly bigger than 1. So that will be outside the disk, or outside the circle, centered at 1 of radius 1. And that's the series expansion for this function outside the circle. So this was part 1. And this is part 2. So that's how we do these types of questions, when a singularity of the function and the center of the circle that we're trying to expand in or out of coincide. And this is the technique you need to use. So I hope it was a good video. Let me know in the comments and best of luck.